Alright, the reason we're doing this video today is because we want to talk about the chemicals used to clean and lubricate. Got a letter and the lady said, I've always used Bellador on my machine. Is it safe for my other machine? Well, Bellador and Lori Lynn and Ballastol are the names I heard forever when I got into the knitting machine business. Now, I will discuss some chemicals that I use and what I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate between the oils that have been traditionally used because everybody that's ever gone into a carriage has looked at one and said golly what's that yellow gummy stuff well at one time that was a top of the line white lithium grease and it was what we used in the industry and since then we found out that's not the best chemical to use so let's do a video and let me show you the best chemicals to use all right, let's talk chemicals. LPS, that's a chemical company. CRC, chemical company. 3M, chemical company. They make all kinds of products. So what I did was I approached their chemical engineers and said, these are the oils that my customers have typically used on their knitting machines. What's the latest, most technological chemical to do the same job? What you're going to hear me talking about is the main one is LPS-1. This is a foaming, cleaning lubricant, but it's a silicon base. The problem with oils is they change over time if nothing else happens. The products that I recommend are silicon-based products, and they don't change with, chemical, with temperature and time and humidity. Now, when I say oils, I really mean a hydrocarboniferous substance made from crude oil. They're sometimes called distillates, as they do in Laurie Lynn. Sometimes they say a light, tin-weight, non-tacking oil, which is what Bellador is. But they're still oil, petroleum-based products. Silicon is a whole different chemical. So this is a foaming, cleaning lubricant. If you send me a carriage, this is what I'm going to first go in there and do, is wash it out with LPS-1. <clears throat> Here's another thing you'll hear me talk about. LPS H1 food grade doesn't mean we're going to eat off your machine. It'll be clean enough. However, what this means is this is safe for all synthetics, plastics, aluminum, uh, stainless steel, anything you're going to find in the knitting world. This is not going to harm it, including really fine fabrics like cashmere and alpaca. So we've got some nylon in our machine. Some of the um I think the front foot is often made of nylon. Is this okay? Yes. A lot of those slides are nylon, Teflon. And again, these are definite chemical names telling you what these are made out of. This food grade says it doesn't matter what the machine's made out of. This is a safe silicon lubricant. And you can just wash it down with this and it's not going to hurt a thing. There's another advantage in that these will always wash out with a mild like hair detergent that's made for fab made for fibers will clean this off of anything you're working on. People always ask me why we have two things. Why are we using <coughs> both LPS1 and food grade lubricant when they both say they clean and they both say they lubricate? Well, if you watch in one of the videos when I'm using this or come to the Raleigh Triangle Knitters uh, assembly coming up in May and watch me work, but this is a foaming substance. When it comes out of here, it's foamy. And it's got a hard penetrating spray. I'll get you a paper towel. Okay. <laughs> if you'll notice this one, you can barely see it. It's just a wet lubrication. So you've got two different properties here to lubricate and clean, and then just to lubricate. Uh, one of the letters was, how do I maintain my machine? Well, you clean it good first because you get a lot of fiber buildup. Then every time you go to use it, just give it a little spray of lubricant. Just on the carriage, on the needle bed, and then you know it's nice and lubricated, ready to go. <clears throat> now, since I do work on a lot of electronic machines, there's things in there that don't need anything on them. For instance, in the garter carriages, when I soak those and I get them out, I have to clean that contact board. Again, CRC, chemical company, but I happen to know this leaves no film or residue on a 
on a circuit board when I spray it with this. It, just in case anyone can't read it, that says electronic cleaner. Right. Uh, there are electronic cleaners available at parts houses for the same reason. If you go with what I recommend, I promise you it's not going to hurt anything. I can't guarantee other chemical companies' products because I haven't researched them. These I have. Now, this is an oil, and I'm not going to lie. Cano Labs, Croil, the oil that creeps. Now, this is what you use whenever something's frozen up. We're going to do a video on the two buttons that are together on the front of the carriage. And after a while, one will slide and the other one won't. Brother carriages do yeah. this. We've all had it happen. And what it is, there's so little room in there that any amount of crud will get in there and stop those from working independently. I start with this. Anytime somebody says, I went to take it apart, but I couldn't get the screws out, I soak them in croil. This will get all pieces of hardware freed up no matter how long it's been put together. And again, go ahead. I was going to say, sometimes I've noticed even you can't get it off right after putting the croil on, but 24 hours later. Exactly. 24 hours is the optimal amount of time to let your croil soak. And I recommend to people if they've tried and nothing else worked, hit it, let it sit for two or three hours, come back, put a little more on there, and do that three or four times. And then after 24 hours, this stuff works. Learn there are that. other creeping oils, but you like this one. I've tried them all when I worked for international trucks. And when you get to big pieces of hardware, this is the only thing that consistently broke it loose after miles and miles on the road. Now, another reason for using this electronic cleaner is if you have used croil, an oil product, it's got to get out of there because we don't want any oils in our machines. This will get that out, then you go behind it and you well, lubricate. Well, can I ask you something? You're speaking about specifically electronics. We've all worked with oil in the me mechanism and no immediate harm comes, but you're talking about danger to electronics, are you not? No, I'm talking about leaving oil in your carriage because it's going to change over time. Even the best oil products, you need to get them out once you've used them. So if I use Croil to free up the parts, inside of a carriage, then I want to get the croil out and get the silicon product in. And I use this electronic cleaner because oh, okay. it breaks up the oil off the surface. Then it's clean again, but it's dry. Then we come back with our food grade and we moisten it up. Now I'm going to throw you the curveball. Marvel Mystery Oil. I soak carriages in this. Now there's a reason. This was originally designed for engine building. This particular product bonds to steel. It forms a chemical bond with any type of steel. So it, I soak a carriage in this and I take it out. It doesn't matter how many times I clean it. This kit oil makes a chemical bond with the steel. And it was designed for camshafts, crankshafts, and main bearings inside of an engine. So the more it runs, the more this bonds to the steel and it cuts down on friction. So especially in a garter carriage where you've got so many tiny parts moving all the time, you don't want any friction if you can get it. This is the lowest possible friction rate. But once I've soaked it, I bring it out, I clean my electrical parts, I clean the insides with this, but there's still a bond, a chemical bond, that that marble mystery oil makes with the metal parts. So there's no oil left. No. But, but it has left an effect behind. Right. And it's a special Teflon type molecule that's designed to bond with the metal when it gets hot. Because there's very little room in an engine between the main bearing and the bearing journal for the oil to actually be. There's only enough room for four or five molecules. One of those is taken up with the marble mystery oil. When you say something bonds to the metal, it almost sounds as though it could gum up a carriage, but that's not what happens, is it? No, no, because if you could actually see a piece of metal magnified about 10,000 times, you'd see pores in it like your skin. Metal is porous. 
that's one of the reasons why it gets gummed up over time. Little microscopic particles get into the pores of the metal. One of the things I like about the Marvel Mystery Oil is it fills in those pores. It smooths your skin so it's <laughs> young again. It sure does because I restored my sock machine with it, an antique auto knitter, and that's what yes. you told me to do, and I yes. ran... I soaked it, and then I ran nothing but that oil in it for two years, and you know it, it arrived blackened with time, though it did work, and a couple years later, it was silvery and quiet. Yes, but that's why it's called mystery oil. For years since I've built my first engine, which was a long time ago, if I build one, I put a little bit of this in the crankcase with every oil change, because it does such a great job of keeping the metal parts from ever rubbing together. And isn't that what you want on your carriage? <clears throat> now, last thing we're going to talk about is how to clean up. Now, I use these if you'll see me working. It's a lanolin-based uh, citric oil towels, and they stay in this little tub, and they're really great for my hands. But you know what else they're great for? Cleaning up your machine. Catherine went to video one for me to work on. She said, oh, it's filthy. I can't put that on camera. I handed her one of these, and I swear, less than five minutes. This machine looked new. So, for the plastic parts, the cowling, the covers, you can wipe it across the needle bed. It doesn't hurt. But it gets all the dust off, smells good, and it cleans up all the parts for you really nicely. 